know, like I was saying about these antennas, uh, you know, do they still really do they do they still really work? Yeah, I mean, it's worked with me. You know what I mean? You know what? I remember when we first started, when I first uh, went to uh, school for cable, and uh, they would tell us on the uh, frequencies, on how the frequencies would start from channel 2 all the way up to maybe channel 70 something. And at that time, the channel 2 was located on 55 megahertz, around 52 or something like that megahertz, which is the lower the lower channels, the lower frequency, and then, uh, like, let's say the the TV stations went up to channel 62. Then it would go to channel 62, but then the megahertz would be different. And so, you know, times really changed from when it was analog into digital. I, I remember in on class, they had us, uh, we had to go over uh, the video was that uh, there was like six megahertz between each channel and one was a, a video carrier and one was a audio carrier and I think one was a color carrier and so all the frequencies came and they all landed right here on these uh, these antennas that went to your TV and that's also how back in the day uh, they used to have this thing called uh, ghosting. And when we used to do cable back in the old school, um, what that meant was you would see like multiple people on the, on, the, um, on the screen. Like if it's only supposed to be one person, you would see a double person. And uh, we called that ghosting. And that was when another signal had got into the signal that... Um, let's, let me clarify it, clarify it up right to you right quick. What it means is, if there's a broadcast of Channel 9, that you already see one picture of Channel 9, then there's another Channel 9 coming in over on top of it. See, we basically had that problem with cable because our Channel 9 was was channel 9 but then it might leak in another frequency which will cause our TV station to uh, which it, it will cause the customer problems but anyway that's some technical stuff but anyway um, I just made this video because I've had this thing and it's worked I don't know I still might be able to use it for something that deals with um, let me see FM antenna or something like that. I guess I might be able to still use it even though the um, the input for the uh, cable part is broke. But anyway, y'all, and until the next time, I'm out. All right? Peace.